Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week in my life. So this week, just like last week, just like the week before that, was a very packed week and we are officially in our house. So that is what I'm gonna be sharing today. All of the unpacking that we've been doing, the renovations we've been up to, the very, very, very deep cleaning that's been going on, and then our winter slash Christmas activities that we've been up to with the family. Now, of course, like usual, I'm also gonna share a little bit of food and then just other things that I felt were shareable. I can't believe everything that's changing. And so with all of that being said, let's hop right in. All right, guys, so we're starting with the most glamorous footage, and that's me scrubbing our fridge. Now, there's a lot of things that just kind of like ended up how they ended up for like a bunch of different reasons. And one of those things is that we did not come to our new house with our fridge in Nashville, which is super disappointing because our fridge in Nashville was amazing, but I'm grateful to have any fridge. So this was actually the fridge that was already in the house. And so I was giving it a good scrub just to, you know, I mean, obvious reasons. Do I have to explain why I was scrubbing the fridge that we're moving into? So I paused my cleaning of the refrigerator to step over and show you what Dan was up to. So he was working on our bathroom floors and then also peeling up paint and cleaning the edges on the trim. In case you're wondering what the blue stuff is all over the floor, that is a grip primer Dan had to put down before tiling our floor. So that had to dry for a full day before he was even able to start laying the tile. Oh my gosh, guys, this was such an exciting moment. Uh, as you can see, we got our counters installed. Not only was it cool to just see how beautiful they are, but obviously just having counters. And as you guys know, Dan built this island, so this didn't even exist before. So it was just so cool to see like an idea and a project and just the counters come to life. By the way, I always thought we were going to go with white, but when it came down to it, we really fell in love with this black leathered countertop. We feel like it's going to wear really well and be a nice contrast to other lighter elements that we have within our home, like our trim, our couch. I'm going to be painting the cupboards and yeah, just very exciting. So obviously in the un packing process. I'm pulling things out of bags. I'm sorting things. And I wound up finding this bag of Logan's clothes from when he was a baby. I think Logan was having fun pulling stuff out of the bags too. And also just looking at himself in the camera. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? <laughs> By the way, you guys would hear me rave a lot about the weather in Nashville, like just how fun it was to watch the weather change because as you guys know, I'm a Southern California native. Um, and here it's like that and even more because the snow is real snowy and watching my dad use a snowblower is hilarious. Like I don't have memories of my dad as a child snow blowing things. I never even saw snow till I was like 14. And it's funny that my son is growing up seeing my my dad snow blowing. <laughs> By the way, I found this bowl at the thrift store at Goodwill and I don't know why, but I just love it. I love it. Cute, Dan. <laughs> so on this day, we brought in all of our clothes, which was very exciting and just really cool to spread all my stuff back out, see what I had. It was, it really was kind of like Christmas as a kid because all of the things that I kept and continue to keep unpacking and pulling out, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. So it's just been fun. And then while I was doing that, as you can see, Dan officially started tiling our floors. And this was just, cool to watch him go. I mean, like I've said, it's cool to watch him do all of these projects. And as you can see, the tile was laid in sheets with like a mesh behind it. So he had pre-measured all of this out, obviously, and cut the tile to be like the right size for our room. Um, and yeah, it was pretty satisfying to watch him lay that down.
Now on this night, my family actually bought tickets to do a cruise from the Coeur d'Alene Resort to see like Christmas lights and this show and fireworks. You will see that's where we're en route to. It was freezing. Let me just throw that out there, especially in the middle of the lake as we like went across to see the fireworks and the show and all that, but it was really cold. And so we were all just bundled up and the Grinch joined us. That was exciting. And it was just beautiful and very surreal and a little bit scary to be on a tiny boat in the middle of such a large body of water and feel how cold it is. It's very humbling <laughs> not to be like grim i don't know is that grim but on a non-grim note the lights were absolutely beautiful overall this was just a really cool experience i decided to pull out my camera to show you guys these turkey melts that i made i believe it was turkey apple red onions i think like cheddar cheese maybe and possibly this cranberry jalapeno raw cream cheese i've been buying from a local grocery store and yeah i don't know turkey melts are just really tasty so as you can see this was dan working on the master bathroom and while he worked on that i continued the process of unpacking clothes so really during these first few days it was all just spent like unpacking painting things working on projects disassembling things to get clean And then in the middle of all of our work, we actually received an Amazon package with some gifts from Dan's mom for Logan. And one of them was this book that I had requested for him. This book, which I just thought was beautiful and the reviews about it were really great. This Opposites book from National Geographic and Edible Colors, which we have edible numbers and Logan loves it. And so I think he's going to love this one as well. All right, guys, now this was some deep cleaning, <laughs> some deep cleaning. The previous owner, Maria, had lived in this home for like over 20 years. And, you know, when someone's living in a home for a while, we all leave our mark. And when we go into a new place, we got to clean it. And basically, I think also we don't really realize how much like cooking grease accumulates in our cupboards, but on the top and on the fronts, I basically gave the cupboards like a super deep scrub. I remember scrubbing my cupboards and stuff in Nashville when we were moving and I was astonished after three years, like what had accumulated there and how I hardly even ever noticed. So it just made me think about my cupboards and cleaning in general um but yeah i was doing an extra good scrub because like i said i know i'm going to be painting them and so i thought all right this is like my first big initial pre-paint scrub <laughs> that I 
It really is crazy how, you know, when you're renovating a space or remodeling, I don't really know the difference, but when you're doing that, every step that you take makes such a difference. And it's bizarre and cool watching a space slowly come together and slowly become something that you imagined or hoped for. Hi guys, so I'm currently in our bedroom, starting to put stuff away kind of been crazy i feel like i've been just like going kind of non-stop we've been fighting some sickness around here and then just trying to like paint and get the house ready and bring things in and unpack and it's just been a lot so today is thursday and our goal is actually to be moved into this house by next wednesday so we have all of our stuff but we're not like sleeping here yet cooking here or actually like living here in any way um actually, i'm gonna sit this down because we don't have our like all our appliances yet my body is kind of aching and tired but i am very excited and every step that we take everything that we keep unpacking painting dan's laying down on grout right now in the bathroom it just becomes more and more exciting and i'm just i'm really pumped it's been a long six months there's been a lot of really amazing things to happen but it's been there's also been a lot of really hard things that have happened including just moving nonetheless all of the other stuff um so i just feel like it's like we left nashville and we've just been like circling and now it's time to land i'm like oh my gosh we're gonna have a home again and part of me has felt like at home this whole time because of some of the reasons that we left Nashville, like to be near my family again, like that has felt amazing. And then at the time, I don't know what it's like now, but even just living in such a masked city, I couldn't do it anymore. And so coming here and being able to like see faces again, just, um, it's been so life giving in so many ways, but not having home and our stuff being packed away has been hard. So I'm just super excited for all of this. So I'm actually not even gonna be unpacking any of like my spring or summer clothes right now. I just unpacked winter and fall because even though I unpacked it, I'm actually probably gonna have to wash all of it. I just needed to like get stuff out and put away. And so I don't even wanna deal with all of the other stuff since I'm not even gonna be wearing it for a while and there's so many things to deal with. So I brought out all my, like I said, fall, winter stuff. And then when we get our washer and dryer next week, we are just going to be doing a lot of laundry for the first week because like we need to wash our couch our couch is totally stained up and luckily you can remove all of the pieces not luckily we paid a good amount of money for that couch glad that we can do that um and we'll wash it all and just like a lot of washing like we found our cloth diapers so i'm going to be washing all of those and clothes and just like lots of bedding and so much so um yeah, I'm just gonna keep kind of moving along. We're taking our lunch break soon. And my sister is actually watching Logan a lot this week um, because that's part of what's making us kind of be able to be out by next week is not having him around because he's great, but he's really busy. So it's easier just not having him in the house while we're doing all these projects. So I'm going to, yeah, keep going now. See the tractor, Logan? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.
that's it for this video guys i'm so excited to be settling into our home and hopefully getting into some kind of routine again so with all of that being said i will god willing see you guys back here very soon with another new video all right bye guys